Hello everyone. Today I am going to present my project which is related to cell nuclear rag, a powerful tool designed to assist the researchers and also the doctors in finding information about cell nuclei in medical sector. So this project acts like a smart search engine especially for cell nuclear data which makes easy to access the relevant information. So before uh, I dive into the technical uh, workings of this project, uh, you can find my full code uh, code space in the which is present in the GitHub. Uh, this is the link of it. Uh, I will post this link in the description so that you can use it. Now let's go over the technologies used in this project. And after that, I will explain how the system operates, including how I use drag LLMs and also the main search to provide accurate and helpful answers. So uh, the, the technologies which I used are uh, Docker, Flask, and also OpenAI API key, PostGRE SQL, and also the Grafana. Uh, yeah, the technology, I'm gonna explain about the technologies uh, in brief so that you'll get an understanding about what are the things uh, which I used in the project. So think of a Grafana as a big container that holds everything our project needs to run. Just like how a shipping container keeps cargo safe and organized, Docker ensures our project can run the same way on different computers. So whether uh, you are running uh, this project on your laptop or a powerful server, Docker makes sure everything works smoothly. And then Flask. Flask is a tool we use to build the website. It's like a lightweight framework that lets us handle requests and show information to their users. For example, when you type a question about the cell nuclei, Flask is responsible for taking the input and sending that input to the system and then displaying the answer back to you. And also the OpenAI API key, this is like a secret code that lets our project take, like it will talk to the OpenAI smart language models. And with this key, we, you can use the AI to understand uh, the answers and also um, generate, like, you can able to understand the questions and generate the helpful answers. It's the backbone of uh, this project. And the post GRE SQL is a database where uh, we store all the questions, answers, and also feedbacks given by the user. Every time you interact with the uh, given, like interact with this uh, website, this information is saved in the database. This helps the system learn and improve like over time. I also use a uh, Grafana. It's like a tool which is uh, which is uh, which shows a dashboard kind of thing and that lets let us show how the system is performing uh, behind the scene. It shows important metrics like how fast answers are generated and how much it costs to keep the running system. And also if anything starts slowing down, Grafana helps us quickly spot and fix the issues. So here I explained about uh, the Grafana setup, which is a mon monitoring setup. And then uh, now I'm going to show how the project works, like the model flow. Uh, uh, actually, when a researcher or a doctor asks a question on the web interface, the system follows a specific uh, flow. I mean, it follows a sp uh, specific flow to retrieve the most relevant answer. The system uses a method called RAG, uh, Ritual Augmented Generation, which generates, like, which integrates two technologies, main technologies. They are like information retrieval and AI-based generation, which is nothing but LLM. Uh, so actually, I'm running, now currently, I'm running with the help of Docker. You can use like Docker or like you can run this application uh, locally. Uh, like how you gonna install the packages kind of thing and what are the technologies which are needed all the stuff can be uh, present and that are that is a, that information I included in the readme.md and then so this is the uh, link of the project so here it is showing me that enter your question it's a histopathology assistant mm, simply I'm gonna ask a question uh, I have which is like what are the data sets useful for unit plus plus so when I ask a question it, it will analyze and it will show me the answer like yes the data sets useful for unit plus plus are like Panyuk, Monisac and then 
concept lung so yeah me me this is showing the cell nuclear types so panuc has plasma cell macro macrophage so these are the i mean the cell nuclei types which are present in the particular data set yes was this and it is also asking me that was this answer helpful yes obviously it's helpful for me and then uh, okay uh, i'm going to discuss about the grafana later how how going to how it's going to show me uh, the relevancy of the particular answer which is given by this uh, just simply the process starts when a user enters the question into the web interface uh, for example they they might ask what are the data sets useful for unit plus plus or so i'm going to ask what are the mm, models useful for and new data set let's see how how it going to answer so it's analyzing and it's showing me that yeah the models useful for panuc data set includes yolo v5 so it's giving me the data sets like which are I mean the models which are helpful for the particular data set which is panuc data set yes this is was his answer helpful yes this is helpful for me so like this it's going to showing me the answer uh once the question is submitted min search our smart search tool i mean the search engine which i used in this uh project jumps into action min search is responsible for quickly scanning through the data set stored in data.csv it contains 258 records like in my point of view it's, it's a small uh set of um, data i want to include more for further modification if i get the possibility to include the more more i'm i'm going to include this and uh, i'm going to host this page so that it can be helpful for the researcher and researchers and also for the uh, doctors min search uses keyword matching to find the most relevant date like relevant words uh, for example if the user ask about anything uh, regarding the data sets or like uh, the models segmentation models which are used it going to give the um, information related to that data and also uh the llms large language models which are used for generation once the min search retrieves the relevant data the search passes on to the llm especially the chat gpt 40 mini which is integrated using the open ai api uh, api key the llm processes the retrieved information and generates a clear answer for the user so for example it may say that yeah the data sets like for the panuc data set these are the models helpful so in the form of human readable language it is giving me the giving the answer for the users and also it is asking for the feedback you can give the feedback whether the answer was helpful or not this feedback is saved to the post grsql database as i previously said this is one of the technology which i used uh, and i also included the post gr uh, setup yes uh in in this github link so you can able to follow this and you can install this particular application in your system locally and uh, you can run this with the help of docker too and then uh so as i said that rag a retrieval augmented generation the core of this project includes two main parts right which is retrieval generation so min search the first the system first retrieves relevant information from the knowledge base and the llm processes these retrieved information and generates a human readable answer uh monitoring so i said that i am going to show you the monitoring part so mm, i can able to access, access this grafana dashboard yes this is the one so it's showing me that so these are the feedbacks given by the users so they are satisfied i am the one who accessed this and i just tested with six seven examples and it it, it is showing me that in seven six are relevant and one is uh, non relevant and i am satisfied the, with the answers it it gave to me and it is also showing me that model used as i said that mm, gpt 40 mini is the one which i used the tokens and the response time 
open air cost uh, uh, is also showing in this dashboard so yeah so we use grafana, grafana to monitor how well the system is running so how long it takes to generate an answer is also given by the grafana uh, yeah as a, a researcher in informatics and machine learning lab i just want to do this project which are helpful for the researchers who can save their time by getting answers instantly instead of searching through papers or like some published research papers or uh, through uh, other llm models uh, this system learns and improves as people use it combining combining retrieval and ai ensures that uh, answers are accurate and well structured actually so i hope this project is helpful and Thank you for your time, guys.